Hi, I'm Brett from Leverage Technologies. Today we want to do an overview of self-service reporting or creating your own reports in SAP Business One version for HANA. This is part of a series of blogs on the Leverage Tech website and demonstrations on the YouTube Leverage Tech channel associated with creating your own reports. So you don't want to get the IT department involved or external consultants. You want to write your own reports and you've got limited report writing knowledge and technical knowledge. How might you do this? So in this series, we looked at elements like SAP Lamira, creating your own pivot tables um, and using SAP Business One Report Writer Query Generator. And today we're going to look at SAP Business One version for HANA, pervasive analytics, creating your own KPIs and dashboards. And so let's have a look at that. And we'll also have a look at today, um, if I just go down here, we'll look at interactive analysis as well. So what we see in front of us is a number of different KPIs and dashboards on the main screen as this user enters into SAP Business One. This happens to be the HANA version, and we're on 9.1. So let's have a look at how we might activate some of these dashboards, make changes to existing SAP dashboards, or create our own. And then we'll look at interactive analysis, which is the ability to create our own pivot tables. So let's activate pervasive analytics. We'll open that up. And what we'll see in pervasive analytics is a number of standard KPIs, receivables overdue, payables overdue, total sales, inbound stock, daily sales, and a number of dashboards, revenue versus gross profit for the last six months, aging of payables overdue, top five customers by sales, etc. So SAP has given us a number of standard dashboards. And of course, I can simply activate these standard dashboards, which is what I saw when we came into that main entry screen. But I can also take a dashboard and I can modify it. So I could take, for example, a particular dashboard, like monthly sales, and I can change it. I don't want to look at sales by month. I want to look at sales by year. Let's just change the description. Sales by year. Okay. And I want to look at it in currency. Um, then I can say, actually, I want to change the target because we're, we're doing better than expected. So I'm going to take change the monthly target. And by the way, I also want to, nice visual indicator, I want this, when it displays the KPI, I want to show it in red, I'm going to say orange, or green. Red being, I'm well below target. Orange being, I'm heading up towards my target, up to 100%. And green being, I'm above 100% of my target. So let's put that in. That's a nice visual indicator on that KPI. Green orange, red, etc. So there's that KPI, I could now go and save it. And so what I've done is I've taken a standard KPI and simply modified it without much technical knowledge at all. But let's go in and see how we may have created a KPI like that from scratch. So to use the example, I'm going to create a, the same or similar KPI, just so that we follow that th theme through. But I'm going to assume that that KPI wasn't available as a standard one. So let's go into new KPI. Now, there are a number of different views I can create for a KPI. I can have analytical views or calculation views. I could go in, for example, and I could say I want to look at all um, AR, AR invoice details and put that against a, a KPI or a dashboard. But we're going to follow the theme of a sales revenue analysis dashboard initially. So let's go in. And what do we want to see? In this instance, let's say we want to see sales quantity. OK. Sales. Okay, and let's say we want to see it for year. Okay, so now what we do is drag sales quantity, and now we drag in the posting date. And we want to see it by year, or do we want to see it by quarter, month, or day? Actually, I'm not interested in quantity, I'm interested in, so let's drag it in, I'm interested in revenue. Okay, what's the goal? The goal is going to be two. Um, the goal is going to be sales by year, and it's going to be 2.5 million. I see it now displays in red because I'm under that particular target. So, if we remember previously, we've got our target zones. Okay, fantastic. 
quick, easy, I've written my own KPI, I save that KPI and then I can add it to the dashboard. Of course, the beauty of this is no technical knowledge required. If I don't want, I actually want to buy gross profit, for example. Okay, whatever the indicator might be, I can put that on there. I don't want to see revenue by year, I want to see revenue by quarter, I want to see revenue by month, etc. So quick and easy to change those KPIs. Let's go back in now and let's have a look at creating a dashboard. So when I go into the dashboards, of course, a number of standard dashboards I could choose, but let's create a new dashboard. Now, in a very similar manner, I can go in and create a dashboard. Let's do one on a calculation view. Let's say we want to look at purchasing. So yeah, let's use an example. Let's say that a supplier has called in and said, you used to buy quite a bit from me. You're no longer uh, buying from me at this point in time. I just want to understand why that is. Are you using a different supplier, etc.? So I, I want AP invoice details. I simply click on the button that brings through for me the data that I need. And now the information is available. So while I'm on the phone talking to the supplier, I can say, let me have a quick look at that. Now, I might not have a standard report available. Of course, I could save this dashboard once I've written it, but I'm just going to quickly create some information on the fly while I'm talking to that particular supplier. So let me just drag the information in that I'm looking for, and I'm looking for it by year. And I go in, and I can see... That's for all suppliers now, of course, I haven't filtered this yet. So now here's my information for what I've bought from all suppliers over the years. Of course, I could see it in grid format if I prefer it. I could see it in graphical. When I see it in graphical format, I could change the type of graph that I want to see it in. So again, lots of information available to me. So let's assume again I'm on the phone, I'm talking to this supplier. Now I just want to filter by that supplier. So I go in and I say to the system that I want to filter. And what I want to filter by, I want to filter uh, by a particular company name. I'm only looking for it where it is Lasercom. Now I've got Lasercom's information and I can see they're quite right. From 2006 to 2010, we bought a fair amount from them. And then in 2011, 12, a little bit, and almost nothing since. So again, just on the phone very quickly, I've created that report. And I can give the supplier the information they're looking for. Now, let's not forget, I could now save that dashboard. And of course, then when I go in, I can just filter it by different suppliers. So the next time a different supplier phones in, I can straight away get to the information I'm looking for. I can do other things with it as well. Obviously, I can create things like forecasting and clustering and ABC analysis. As we said earlier, different column types and charts and, and what have you. And I can also put actions against this. So let's say when I go into this KPI or dashboard, one of the things I want to do is as I drill down to the supplier in question, I want to open the business partner form. So let's just go in here and say what I actually want to do in future as well is I want to be able to open the business partner master data form when I go into this particular element here. Okay, so go in and create that. So now I've got a report written, a dashboard, fairly simple dashboard, but we've got it and we can add it to the main menu structure. Let's go back in now and let's have a look at another option we might have. So what we've seen so far is we've looked at standard KPIs, standard dashboards, modifying a KPI, writing our own dashboard, and when we add that dashboard to the main interface, the ability to trigger a process, which in our instance, we wanted to go straight from the dashboard to opening the business partner form. Let's now have a look at another option for creating our own reports in SAP Business One version for HANA called Interactive Analytics. I open up Interactive Analytics and I can see that I can do purchase analysis, supplier aging, budget analysis, cost center, financial analysis, Let's stick to our theme, in this instance, sales revenue analysis. So go in to sales revenue analysis. And what we can do is we'll open that up. And what will happen is that Microsoft Excel becomes enabled on the form. Now, what we want to do here is we essentially want to create our own report. So let's open up the Excel. We can now see that we're looking at the sales analysis and that Microsoft Excel has opened up in pivot tables preset for us. So 
A lot of people know about pivot tables is dragging the information onto the chart that you want to see. But the beauty here, once again, in SAP Business One version for HANA, the pivot table field list has been created for us by SAP. So we don't have to do any of the hard work. All we do now is say I'm interested in a report, and my report I'm interested in is by revenue. I'm interested in it by month. But I actually want to filter. So there's my quick report by revenue by month. Actually, I want to filter by month. So let's drag that into the filter column. Um, I want to have a look at this report by items. And I want to have a look at it by sales employee as a filter. Click on sales employee. And I want to be able to filter by sales employee. So I've quickly built a report. I can see down the left hand side in chart format, in grid format, I can see the sales. I can see it in graphical format here. And I can see that it's filtered by month and by sales employee. So now if I just want to have a look at that report by certain sales employees, I can say, actually, I just want to see it where the sales employee is. Let's just choose a few. Okay, and the report changes. So a very simple example, but again, an example of the fact that the hard work's already been done for us with very limited technical knowledge. I can create my own reports inside SAP Business One version for HANA. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. The theme of it, of course, is creating our own reports in SAP Business One rather than having to get someone, a consultant or the IT department to do it for us. Please don't forget that there's lots of other information available on our website at leveragetech.com.au. Thank you for watching.